Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're making yucca cordage, so stick around. In a previous video we talked about yucca plant and we mentioned that there's about 50 to 60 different types across the United States. But one thing that was common to all those species was that they contain saponin. And saponin basically is a chemical that's antibacterial, antifungal, and it was excellent for making soap. And that could be found in the roots or even the leaves. So today I wanna to go ahead and continue that conversation and talk about another benefit of yucca, and that is the ability to make cordage or rope from these leaves right here. So what I wanna do real quick We'll go ahead and go into a quick recap of how to find and locate yucca, identify it, namely by the leaves right here, and then we'll get into the cordage making process. Directly in front of me is a common example of a typical yucca. And what's unique to these yuccas are these narrow blade-like leaves you see right here. And at the very end, they have a sharp needle-like tip. So without getting poked with these thorns right here, just take your knife and cut off two or three of these leaves and you should be good to go for cordage and soap. Now once you've identified and harvested your yucca leaves, two or three would probably be the best. And what you want to do is you want to get the fibers that are embedded inside here. I've already started doing that. You can see these white fibers right here. Now there's several ways to do this. What I found that works the best for me in the field is taking my ordinary Victor Knox one-handed trekker and using the screwdriver. So then it locks in place here and all I gotta do is scrape off the excess on the outside and you can see that it exposes those fibers. Now a common household spoon works just as well. You wanna try and stay away from something with a sharp edge on it because what tends to happen, it wants to damage those fibers. Now once you've got it all the way down on one side, flip it over and do the exact same thing. Now from here, all you gotta do is just separate your fibers. and you'll be good to go for the cordage making process. And to make sure that nothing goes to waste, take the excess or the exterior, place it into a container, and all you gotta do is add some water. About halfway to three quarters. You already see it turning green. Put that lid on nice and tight. And then just shake it up. There's your soap or shampoo. Now what I do, go ahead and leave this lid on here, leave all that excess inside there, let it sit for a couple hours. Shake it up again, and then go ahead and extract that material, and you have your sap and in soap or shampoo. From here what you want to do is you want to grab two pieces that are roughly the same diameter. And then find the halfway point. And make a bite. Then drape one side down so it resembles a number nine. Then my left hand, index finger and thumb, I'm gonna go ahead and pinch that loop. And that's gonna give me a horizontal piece and a vertical piece. Now the secret of reverse wrap cordage, you're gonna just twist it away from you, as tight as you can get it. You're gonna pinch with your middle finger and your index finger and then wrap it towards you. Twist away, pinch, wrap towards you. And pretty much that's it right there.
and a quick check is if you let go and it does not unravel, you've done it right. So repeat that process all the way down to the bottom until you get about right here. Then you want to stop because at that point it's time for a splice. So now that we're at the end, at this point here, you can go ahead and splice. So I'm going to grab two more pieces here. I'm going to locate the halfway point and make a bite. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove this into my center and separate them so that just like when we started we have a horizontal and a vertical and then I'm going to continue the process. I'm going to twist away from me really tight, pinch and wrap towards me. Twist away, pinch it, wrap towards me. And naturally where you splice it at, it should be thicker. Welcome back, that was outstanding. Now keep in mind, like I mentioned before, there's between 50 or 60 different types of yucca found across the country, but every single one of them can be processed down to make cordage and shampoo or soap. Thank you for your comments, views, support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, and I'll catch you next time.